hi guys welcome to another video today I wanted to make a video about five products that I find a bit overrated and overhyped some of the products are quite expensive if you on the other hand like one or more products and you know they are your favorite products don't take it personal because everybody is different and everybody likes different products I just wanted to um, show you those five products and tell you what I don't like about them and also tell you about some alternatives which I prefer um, so yeah please don't leave me any hater comments or anything this is just my opinion and I think you know everybody should be allowed to express it so I'm gonna start with the first product the first product um, I can't actually show you because um, I'm uh, packing at the moment so I already packed it because I don't like it so much so everything I like I haven't packed yet and everything I don't really like I already packed but it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer the new one that comes in a little tube like that with a little pump I bought the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because I was really happy to um, have a concealer that would last me really long that would last really long on the skin in the uh, winter I get really red under my nose um, and I wanted a concealer that uh, lasts quite a long time because all the other concealers leave after some point here and you can see all the redness but um, I'm actually not so happy with this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer first of all I really fancied the packaging when I saw it the first time I was like wow this packaging is really great with the little pump and everything but the problem is every time you pump it, it like loads of product comes out and you don't actually need so much so you can't actually make half a pump because it's so small and you have too much product on your hand which you will not use the second thing I really didn't like it's not that long lasting I don't know there's um, studio um, uh, the studio finish concealer lasts just as long on my skin if I powder it than the MAC Pro Longwear concealer so it's not that long lasting at all and the third thing I don't like about this product is it smells so chemical it doesn't smell nice at all and when I was a bit open here um, I put the concealer here and it started burning a bit and it's very chemical and I think it can't be good for your skin so yeah I think this product is a bit overhyped and it's not that good and if you want to know more about the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer um, Daisy from Daisy Nation made a whole video about it so you can check it out I will link her down below um, some alternatives to this concealer, I have two here now, which I didn't pack because I really like those two products. The first one is another MAC product, and it's the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I'm, I'm in the color NW20, and I really like it. It's really creamy. I go in with my finger and apply it and just dab it on, and I think it lasts really good on me, and I really like the coverage. And another concealer I really really like if you live in Germany, Austria, I think in Romania, Bulgaria, they're opening some of the DM which is called Drogerie Markt. And this is their own brand. It's called Alverde. I was talking in my previous video about it. And it's all natural cosmetics, it's all organic. It doesn't have any any bad ingredients, no mineral oil, no paraben, nothing like that. It's also cruelty free and um, this melted because I had it from the summer and it's a very creamy concealer and it's very close to this so it's, if you think this is a bit too expensive for you go and buy this concealer if you can get it in your country it's very close to the MAC Studio Finish Concealer and yeah the pot is actually really big too and it's like this was like 3 euros, 4 euros this brand is really cheap too so I really like that then let's go on to the second product I find that is a bit overrated is the makeup forever professional high definition finishing powder it looks like this um, 
it has 10 grams in it you open it it has a sifter in here and a cup so you can pull it in the cup and then apply it with your powder brush um, two things I really like about it the sifter has only five holes and if you put it in the cup it's not too much product coming out so you're not making a big mess and the powder is very 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 fine those two things I like I will continue to use it because it was far too expensive it was over 40 euros for 10 grams I might have as well bought the Chanel powder for which is a little bit more expensive but you get 30 grams so I don't know but what I don't like first of all it's too expensive for how much product you get and for what it is and the main thing I can't stand it is because straight away after you put it you get this like your face looks like kind of grey you get this ashy tint to your face and I don't know I really don't like that it has this ashy tint to it it's supposed to be clear but I find it leaves me looking a bit grey so that's why I don't like it so much and alternatives to that is my uh, number one favorite finishing powder is mineral powder I don't know any brands they're usually really good like Bare Minerals, Coastal Sands even the MAC mineral um, powders um, another thing I really really like is mineral veil powder and especially the one from Coastal Sands which is really good and the third product I don't really like I can't show it because I all also packed it too is the Max, Fi Max Fix Plus and these are the big bottles with the black top and the, the see-through bottle where like you can spray it all over your face or use it for your loose pig pigments and I don't know, I have it since a year now and I use from the whole bottle like this much and I try to use it in the summer to, after I finished with my makeup to spray it and I feel like I get this sticky feeling and when you spray it, it's not a fine spray, it's very like you get like little um, drops in your face kind of and you feel it and I don't know, maybe it is really good, I haven't tried it that much to to say if it's good or not but just that feeling I already feel it ruins all my makeup and I don't know I feel when I powder my skin and everything I feel it's wrong to spray it with a liquid over the top it's just my personal opinion I know so many people absolutely love fix plus but I just can't I just oh and even for the pigments I think it's so much easier to wet your pigments with some water and then put it on your eyes and mm, you know you can buy those empty bottles put it with water and spray it like that for me it's not just working out so much but I will still continue to use it maybe at some point you never know maybe at some point I might really like it but at the moment I think it's quite overrated and the fourth product I think is um, a bit overhyped not a bit overhyped a lot overhyped is this Mm. it's the do eyelash ad adhesive for how it's and um, yeah I lose quite a lot of it because I bought it and um, yeah I want to use it but um, I remember a video from Avery from Avrans she made uh, a similar video where she mentioned five products that are overhyped and she mentioned that too and she said that she had to go to some event and her eyelashes came off and then in the inside and she had to take them off and guess what the same thing happened to me I went to my graduation this summer and my eyelashes in the inside side cut started coming off like this and if this happens to two people already I don't know I don't think it's that great I think it's a bit difficult to apply because it comes in this squeezy thing and then you need to squeeze it out and it's going all over the place and then you need to put your eyelashes on top and by the way the smell is oh the smell is disgusting if you want to go out and get ready and have a shower and put some perfume and you open this it smells like you have a dead fish lying around in your flat since the last week it smells disgusting honestly dead fish is the best thing to describe this and 
Recently I started just using the glue the eyelash that the comes with the eyelashes because many eyelashes they come with a glue and many people say no 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 don't use that it will um, pull your lashes when you take it off but it's not at all the case with me I prefer the eyelash glue that the eyelashes come with because it has a nice little applicator and everything so I don't like that so much and the last product I find is a bit um, overrated and overhyped is the Chanel Vita Lumiere foundation okay many people are gonna kill me now and if you saw some of my previous videos you know I really like Chanel but the problem I have with this I have normal skin and um, this is so nourishing like it's nearly like you're putting a serum on your face or something and I think this would be really really good for people with dry skin and I don't know I think it has a little bit too less coverage for me and I applied it with many different foundation brushes and everything and after I, th I feel it doesn't sink in my skin and it gives you a very shiny kind of look very um, you know fresh looking and I think that's why so many people like it but I feel I feel like if I don't powder it a lot to make it go into skin I feel like it, it's making my skin look really oily and really greasy because if you have dry skin maybe it goes in the skin better but in my skin it doesn't I feel it sits on top of it and then after two three hours like it slips off it's not staying where you put it like it's a foundation that comes off very fast so I still like this I will still use it it's a very luxurious product and if you want this luminous glow this is the thing to go for but I don't like I feel like too shiny and stuff and I mix it with other foundations so that's how I use it I mix it with something very matte and then I get like I can mix it like to get the coverage and the shininess and luminosity like how I want it but yeah it's not very long lasting either so and I'm a person I like to do my makeup in the morning and be done with it and don't have to do anything with it the rest of the day except maybe reapplying lip gloss mm -hmm. or lipstick I still really can recommend the Chanel Matte Lumiere that's my fav one of my favorite foundations I really like it so yeah if you have dry skin this might be really good for you if you have normal to oily skin try the matte lumiere and it's very long lasting and i really like it so that was my alternative so thank you for watching guys and i hope you like this video and please give me thumbs up for being really honest and you know telling you what i feel about stuff because sometimes i feel um there must be also said some negative things about products and not just, you know, raving about everything. So, yeah. Okay, so hope you like this video. See you soon, guys. Bye.